I solo traveled to Kansai region of Japan this year, and I'm about to show you the beginning of my journey. Before taking off, I had lunch at this restaurant called Hanlin, located in Taoyuan Airport Terminal 1. I ordered their vegan tea noodle soup, which came with a side of mochi. The noodles were chewy and elastic, while the broth was light yet flavorful. Three hours later, I landed in Kansai International Airport. I took the metro to get to Namba Station. I randomly got this green juice from Takashimaya and holy shit. The hostel I booked was just 5 minute walk away from the station. It was located in this dark alley right across from a love motel. It cost around 25 US dollar per night, with free coffee and tea. I stayed on a female only floor. This was my first time staying at a hostel. The bed was very comfortable and I slept well. The next day, I woke up super early for a morning meditation at 6 a.m. I swung by 7-Eleven to grab a quick bite. I love natto very much. I booked this meditation through Airbnb experience. It was just the host, me, and two other solo travelers. We first joined a morning exercise called Radio Taiso with the elderly locals at Osaka Castle. It was only 5 minutes long and the music was super cute. What a fun way to start the day. Then the host took us to a quiet corner to start the meditation. It was a 40 minute mantra chanting meditation along with deep breathing exercise. Afterward, the host took us to Sukiya for breakfast. He ordered the natto breakfast set for me. But right off the bat, I noticed the mashed potato, which is obviously not vegan. I stopped by a Starbucks to try their seasonal drink called Strawberry Very Much Frappuccino. Then I headed to Mino City, which is 30 minute ride away from central Osaka. I went to have lunch at the only vegan cafe in the area called Sarun Powaku. This cafe was so quiet and peaceful. It was as if I stepped into the world of Ghibli. The tofu burger comes with a minestrone soup on the side. Although the ingredients look pretty simple, 
It was a love at first bite. The layers of texture and the sauce were just perfect. This is definitely a must try. I ended the meal with their strawberry gelato and holy shizzle. This was thousand times better than that Starbucks special. Really, you don't want to miss this place. Dying so so far away. Fuck. The walk was super tiring for someone unfit like me. It took me almost an hour to get to the waterfall. about another hour towards Ikeda for my second Airbnb experience of the day. I was greeted by this cutie pie named Leah. I fell in love with him right away. Wow, oh, so pretty. The sound? Yeah. Do they sell this in Japan? Um, the import. Import. Yeah. Oh. But if you go around, like the bigger oh. ones. Oh. Yeah. oh my god. <laughs> oh. Wow. This Airbnb experience was a vegan Japanese home cooking class. I got to learn the basic principles of macrobiotic diet. Same size. Oh. 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 For the miso soup, we had to put in the ingredients in specific order for that yin and yang balance. We have two kinds of miso, usually we mix together. This is a rice mold one and this is a wheat mold one. Because a wheat mold one is usually sweeter. Made this simple yet delicious dressing out of sesame and tofu. We molded a plateful of croquettes made from potato, carrot, and onion, then coated them with flour and breadcrumbs. We stir fried some mushroom, soybeans, and seaweed into a side dish. Assembled this gorgeous soba salad. My most favorite dish to make out of all was the temari sushi. It felt like an elementary school art project. These sushi turned out really cute. Lastly, we put together all the dishes we made into this plate of art. 
Look at that. This was the best meal I had in Osaka. Yeah. They even prepared this delicious matcha dessert for us. This whole experience was not only educational, but also entertaining and therapeutic. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. So go check out the links in my description box. If you enjoyed this vlog, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and hit that subscribe button. Also, turn on the notification alert so you'll know when I upload a new video. Jane!